So you might have noticed that at the bottom of my greenhouse I have a few buckets with pipes connecting them and this is my automatic watering system for my tomatoes and I'll just show you around and show you how it all works. So it all works on the principle that water wants to level itself and uh, I'll show you what that means now. So they're both there and you put the pipes that have got water in into the containers and then if I've done this right they want to level themselves up so if I increase the height of this one here it should then pass water into the one on the right hand side as it is now doing and it now fills this up and overflows it and then if I do the opposite and put that one down you should then see this one lower itself and this one higher itself so basically it's a leveling system whoops here we go it's a leveling system and that's how I ensure that all the pots are constantly filled up so the container on the left hand side with the orange is what I call the master reservoir and my master reservoir is here and it basically has got a, a ballcock the sort of ballcock that you'd get in a toilet system and uh, that is fed from my water butt that collects water from the outside of my greenhouse so the master reservoir fills itself up until it gets to the required level and at which point the bullcock uh, closes itself. Then using the technique of uh, levelling that water wants to do, it flows up through this pipe into this container, which is a station for one of my tomato plants. And then this pipe here also has water in it and it will level it with this. So assuming I'm just connecting two of these tomato stations together all those three pots will be at the same level now as you can see I've put some wooden decking around just to level it all up and then I've got some at the back and then we feed across onto this side and I have another four containers so that makes a total of eight stations that I can use to automatically feed my tomato plants inside each pot I have a ice cream container that has a hole in it as you can see there and then that allows insides of the ice cream container to be filled up as well now the other clever part of the system is how the actual tomatoes take up the water and the food from the bucket. Sitting on each ice cream container is a pot that has the tomato plant in it. In the bottom I've created I think they're called net cups basically these are uh, yogurt containers with holes drilled in. Into the bottom of that I force all the compost and then fill up the compost into here. The compost at the bottom is made wet by the water that's in the bucket. As the tomato plant that sits in the top of the bucket sucks up the moisture, that causes a capillary action and it sucks up more water from the bucket, which in turn means that the water in the bucket goes down. The cistern over here then falls which opens the valve and then it fills itself up and therefore it fills the system up as the plants drink the water. They take what they need and what they don't it just stays in the compost. Now as you can see it's all a bit tight in here and they've got staging on top and I can hear you say 
when your tomato plants get large and come up through the staging how do you deal with that well the staging is not actually attached which means that as the plants grow up I can then remove the slats and the tomatoes grow up I've got some stakes where I can stake the tomatoes and I can also put these back in here and put the stakes attached to these to give them support. So that's a brief overview of my automatic tomato watering system. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it and it's found it useful and I'll see you soon.